Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Door size. Okay, Rickson 370. Sure. What's the order number so I can look at it? Um, it's uh, 131351. Okay, great. What's the question? Um, the door width. Is there, uh, I, I read somewhere, but I can't find the information again on, it said a maximum door width of, and I don't remember what that is. And then also I was wondering why that would matter if the, you know, it seems like it shouldn't matter that much. Um, well, the maximum door width that the factory publishes is three foot eight. Three foot eight. Yeah. But if I went, say, two inches or three inches over that, I, I know that that's a recommended probably. But I imagine, you know, unless there's another one that I should order instead of the one I ordered that can do a wider door width. Seems like I could increase that a little bit and I would be safe. I would not uh, discount that at all. Um, I know you can't say, yeah, that's great, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, I, I can speak quite candidly about this. Okay. The fact great, of the matter thanks. is a number of things. The Rickson product is an exceptionally uh, well-engineered product, over-engineered, yes, I would even is. say. I, I, can, I, mm -hmm. I can rattle off a number of projects where there are five-foot-wide doors um, right, on, three, right. on 370s. Okay, so that's what I, I'm out here in California in, in Martis Camp, and there's lots of I make I make a nice custom doors, but this is my first pivot door. But in the neighborhood I'm working in, there's lots of them, sure. and I know you know they're usually really wide, and so I've gone and checked them out, but I was unable to see exactly which one it was. But I asked the builder, and he said Rickson is the what everyone's using, so. I just wanted to confirm because I want to increase this about four inches from that recommendation. So I think you've answered my question. Uh, only partially. So okay. uh, if you were to call the factory and tell them that you wanted to hang a wider door, they would probably tell you to move that vertical axis of pivoting over to compensate. I wouldn't be concerned right. even a nanosecond of four inches um, without relocating my vertical axis of pivoting. Um, and I would proceed with confidence. Two things come yeah. to mind. Okay. You've said you're in California. That means that you right. have ordered the wrong top pivot. Which is, well, and I'm curious why, but. So California has, uh, Florida has hurricanes and California has earthquakes. <laughs> um, so I'm not they, trading, though. They right. Uh, they yeah. make their H three forty five pivot, which is, which is a longer pivot, which is a longer a pin longer. for hurricane. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so gotcha. that's number one. Um, be mindful of that. Okay. Um, and let's see here now. Outside of that, the other thing was, how are you going to weather strip this door? That's been my curious question, and I was going to go back up to Marta's Camp and uh, look at my weather strip situation because I, I I was planning to use the one I have pictures of they just used uh, the press in uh, weather strip the typical entry door press in type if mm -hmm. you're familiar mm -hmm. and so that's what I was going to use but the door sweep is a question you know and how the sweep can go underneath of you know my door will be two and a quarter thick but, uh, yes, if you have any information, to, anything to sell me for that, let me know. Yeah, they're two and a quarter inch thick. Yeah, they're dastardly when it comes to um, how to seal this material um, mm. when, it, when it's basically center hung. You, you might right. be able to use an automatic door bottom um, that has a right. plunger that when the door is closed. I'm familiar with that. Right. But you would need um, one at each end. At a, you'd need a real short one, you know, like 18 inches, and then for each side of the pivot, correct? Um, yeah, I mean, the issue is you do have to have some way for the uh, plunger to elegantly contact right. the jam. So there'd have to be yeah. some thought into that. 
Um, and right. they do make they do make a gizmo for doing that, um, although right. it's not super elegant. Um, you know, and and what you could uh, very likely do as well, since you've got a thicker door, uh, right. you might be able to route into the bottom rail of the door uh-huh. to accept an aluminum channel that you could slide a pile into. Um, that's that's what that was what I was planning on doing, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that before. Those aren't the, yeah, and they make two different lengths of those, and so that was an easy choice. So the I might be on the you, right track there. Yeah, the other thing you could do is you could um, soup that up a bit. You could install behind it springs, so that over time, should you need to adjust that, someone could within within a couple of minutes have the door unhung, and then pull the pile out, adjust those screws. And right, it, and it will therefore play with the projection of the of the housing. Right. And we've got a manufacturer who offers that sort of stuff with the springs, but it's just a spring behind the aluminum channel. Um, right. Uh, so that's nice long term. Uh, really great in astrable applications. Um, but yeah, it's it's okay. a challenge. There is no perfect solution for insulating um, center right. on doors. Luckily, this one's in a. It's about a six foot deep alcove, and mm-hmm. anyhow, it's pretty okay. And also, I'm not in earthquake-prone territory. Oh, but, okay. Well, it, yeah, there you yeah. go. Well, I'm that a, makes uh, life awesome, uh, pr- uh, yeah. assuming b- local building code doesn't require it. Um, right. Awesome. That's good, because that top pivot yeah. alone makes the the entire set look inexpensive. Right. Yeah. Um, so, okay, I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to – I have two doors to do, but I want to do this one first. Um and when I do the next one, uh, there isn't a, you know, a, a different pivot hinge that would be even more over-engineered than this one? Or should I just stick with this? So the next one will be about the same size. I see no reason to change. Rickson, okay. as do other people, they have pivots that will handle more weight. Um, but after, I think there's one step above where you are now that you can still surface mount, meaning apply it to the floor and right. screw it down. After that, you're dealing with pouring concrete. You want to hang a 1,000-pound right. door, yeah, there's no fasteners right. that you use. That's right. going to be into right. a little pocket of concrete. Right. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, I've done carriage doors, and and so I'm doing large doors is okay. And this pivoting is just a new thing. So you guys, I'm going to use you again. You've been the person I ordered from. She was very helpful. You've been. So just wanted you to know. I look okay. forward to earning that. The only thing you got to do is make sure you make sure you're plumb. You, if you're plumb, yeah, you're gold. Well, yeah, two that's... things. Make sure you're plumb, and that on the on uh, the template, the um, the depth of the bottom arm, how deep you mortise it, is directly right. related to your undercut. You have that right. formula, you're gold. That's all there is to it. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Um, do you guys use uh, buy or sell um, accurate hardware? Yeah, I love those guys. Accurate. Yeah. So I did all the doors for the owner of that company. He was a no. uh, he was a techie. He's he's a techie. In his his brother is uh, like one of the first uh, people at. Uh, um uh apple um well that's amazing i did not know that so obviously rod or whoever from the family has a property in california i'm i'm thinking those guys are great um every time i call them they're like come on over we'll give you a tour and i just i'm going someday um yeah they they have a lot of claims to fame they've got hardware in the oval office so it's uh-huh. they're good people over there yeah Solid they're people. they're their uh um the house that I did it had twenty three doors and it was like four thousand dollars a door for the lock sets. It's all Cheryl Wagner. If you're familiar with Cheryl Wagner? Uh boutique hardware, yes. I'm yeah. I bump into stuff like that occasionally. Yeah, anyhow. Yeah, I just wanted to share that because it's just yeah. bragging rights for me. I got to do the doors for that and they were pretty fantastic. It's and uh yeah yeah no you're darn right i mean what's the owner of accurate going to use <laughs> you, right it ain't going to be baldwin which is very nice but it's going to be right. so here yeah. you go <laughs> yeah and their front door had a uh it was a four foot wide door and it was uh at the widest about seven inches thick 
<laughs> and it had the doorknob in the very center. And it's this five inch round, very ornate bronze doorknob in the very center. So I had the mortise, a mortise box, a regular typical mortise box that was custom made that went in two feet deep. Oh, yeah. It was, and it worked like a charm. Yeah, I like had that. those guys Anyhow. make uh, one final thing. I had those guys make yeah. two lo- mortise locks that went to a uh, international airport in the Middle East that required uh-huh. like a missile silo, two keys to operate. Those locks were seventy five hundred each. My cost, right? And they nailed it, nailed it perfectly. Anyway, uh, any questions yeah. on the pivot? Please don't hesitate to call us. Okay, thanks a lot for your info. Okay, yes, sir. Bye bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.